Oh my god, it looks like a snake. That's a Dutch basin. It's a kitchen counter. <laughs> kitchen counter. It's the Australian, a uh, giant Australian leaf inside. Leaf inside. It has a blue tongue. It's like a leaf. <laughs> I know, right? Hey, why, is there, just... why is there a hole right there? That's his tongue. Those are his ears. Oh. The snake is false! And during the day, they it's just right pretend to be leaves. Uh huh. And they found where? Australia or just? Yes, Australia. All over no, Australia. It's looking better. Uh, many of them come in different shades of brown. Uh -huh. But they can also come in green, orange, and to be a scorpion. Oh. So she uses her two front legs oh. to pretend that they're pinchers. Is she missing part of her tail? And then. No, that's her tail. That's the way it looks. Usually they'll raise it. And see how it looks like a scorpion's yeah. tail. Oh. It feels like a leaf. Mm -hmm. It's got spikes all over too. Ooh, yeah. he's pretending to be a, a scorpion. So they live in the trees, but they don't live on the ground. Right? <laughs> no, they don't live okay. on the ground. <clears throat> the females, these are its Mama. wings. Mama. The females' Mama. wings are underdeveloped, so they can't fly. Oh, they can't fly? No, but the males, um, they have fully developed wings and they can't Oh, really? So they yeah. can fly and from tree to tree they can jump? Yeah, they can fly. Um, they don't live very long. Okay. The females live about 18 months, and the males live between 6 and 8 months. Oh, really? Yes. So they produce lots of eggs at one time, like hundreds of eggs. The females, they don't need a male to produce eggs. Yeah, but when they produce eggs that um, they haven't, yeah, unfertilized eggs, all of the eggs will be female. And with the male, they will be both male and female. So the man can produce eggs also? No, he has to mate with the female. Okay. <laughs> that was the beginning. What was the name of this? A giant Australian leaf insect. Leaf insect. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that. He's <laughs> trying to find out what I am. <laughs> and when they produce the eggs, they come out of here. And they're uh, dropped onto the floor. Okay. And the ants on the trees nearby, they um, think that they're seeds. So they'll take them and they'll take them into the ant hill and put oh. them in their food storage. Mm -hmm. And it takes about nine months for the eggs to hatch. If the, That's the a long food time. Storage, yeah. The food storage is the perfect condition for the eggs to live in. Mm -hmm. And once they hatch, they look like ants, they move around like ants, and wow. they smell like ants, so that the ants don't eat them and attack <laughs> oh. them. And they do that, they give off that scent long enough to get out of the ant hill, mm -hmm. and as soon as they get out, they find the nearest tree, run up, and start eating the leaves. <laughs> oh wow, it's perfect protection. Yeah. Interesting adaptation. To mm -hmm. Are those spikes really pointing? They're um, to mimic thorns. They're, they're not pointy, they're just very... Do people eat them? I'm not sure if they eat them. Okay. Let's we'll see how she's dancing right here. She's oh. mimicking a leaf, leaf in the wind. Yeah. <laughs> what is their main predator? Bird? Birds? birds? Yeah, birds. Anything that eats bugs. So that's why they have... Uh, is it camouflage of different colors at different seasons? Or? Yeah, it depends. Their different their colors depend on um, where they live. Mm -hmm. you, most of them are different shades of brown, but they can also be green, 